Let's be real, most people lose money trading crypto. And it's not just because of bad luck, they get FOMO, they trade too much, or they panic sell when the price goes down. But what if you could take all the emotions and out of the decisions out of the equation and have a bot trade for you? And no, I'm not talking about some sort of fly-by-night Discord bot, a real profitable blockchain-based trading bot that uses arbitrage and flash loans. And today, I'm going to show you how you can create one even if you have zero dollars to trade. I'm going to tell you everything in this video today as a blockchain developer myself who's built multiple profitable bots and taught others to do the same. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. All right, when most people hear the word crypto bot, they think of something that you just flip a switch on and it makes you rich overnight. But here's the truth. Most crypto trading bots lose money. Why is that? Well, because they're trying to guess what the next price is going to be. They chase momentum or they get front run or rug pulled or just completely wrecked. So what I'm going to show you in this video today is completely different. It's a bot that only fires when there's actually profitable opportunities already on the table, built with smart contracts, decentralized exchanges, and flash loans. It's not, you know, gambling all your money, hoping that you make the next right prediction. It's seeing that opportunity is there right now and then capitalizing on it. You know, I've done this a lot and I've taught other people how to do it. And one time I showed one of my students this strategy and they made a thousand dollars in their first weekend. And so let me explain why this bot is such a game changer compared to other types of crypto bots. Well, it runs 24 seven. It's not emotional. It only executes if a trade is profitable and you don't actually need any money to fund the bot. You don't need any money to trade because it uses flash loans to do the work. And now if that sounds like something that you want to do, I'm holding a trading bot masterclass next Thursday, October 16th. Inside, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to create a crypto trading bot with arbitrage and flash loans. So make sure you hold your spot at the link down below. All right, so let's break down exactly how this trading bot strategy works. So let's start off with the basis of arbitrage. So if you look at any cryptocurrency, let's just say Ethereum, for example, you see that like it's got a price here, but what does that price actually mean? Well, it's a reflection of what it's trading on on a bunch of different cryptocurrency exchanges. And if you scroll down, you're going to see that the prices are a little bit different on every single exchange. So theoretically, you could just buy on this exchange and sell on that exchange. There's a problem. By the time you bought on one exchange and moved to the other, the price could change. But what if you could do it all in one go where the price couldn't change on you. Well, that's the power of doing a blockchain based trading bot and using decentralized exchanges instead. So Uniswap is an example. So what if I was able to look at the price of Ethereum or Ether on Uniswap and look at it on another decentralized exchange like, you know, PancakeSwap, and then I could actually buy on Uniswap and sell on PancakeSwap instantly without the price moving on you. Well, that's exactly what you can do with a blockchain based trading bot, because on the blockchain, whenever you submit a transaction, you are the user of the entire blockchain, you and you alone for that split second. And so therefore you can buy on one exchange and sell on the other exchange without the price moving on you. But what if I lose money? Well, guess what? You can't actually lose money in this case, because in order to buy on one exchange and sell on the other exchange instantly, you have to use what's called a smart contract, which is just a program running on the blockchain that you can create as a developer, or you can just get a template. And that's going to make sure that when you're buying on one exchange and selling on the other exchange, that the transaction is only going to go through if that trade is profitable. And if it's not profitable, it's just going to fail the transaction or it's never even going to fire in the first place. And so you can't actually lose any of your money. But next, like what if you don't even have any money to trade in the first place? Well, that's where flash loans come into play. All right. So flash loans are a technique where you can borrow millions of dollars in cryptocurrency for free as long as you pay it back in the same transaction. So you might be like, what the heck? What, what does that mean? Why would I even want to do that? Well, basically, let's talk about blockchain transactions for a second. Let's say that I'm sending cryptocurrency from my account to yours. Well, whenever I do that, I submit that to the blockchain. And, you know, for that split second, I'm the only person doing anything on the blockchain. And that's a transaction with pretty simple instructions. Just take cryptocurrency out of my account and put it in your account. That's a simple transaction. But what about a complex transaction? Well, that's where you can do multiple steps inside of a transaction, like, you know, borrow cryptocurrency buy it on one exchange, sell it on another exchange, keep the profit, and then pay back the flash loan. That's just one thing you can do with flash loans. And one of the most popular use cases is to do arbitrage-based trading, because if you spot an opportunity in the marketplace to buy ETH over here or whatever cryptocurrency it is and sell it on another exchange in real time, you can just borrow the funds for it and then pay them back as soon as you're finished. But what if I lose the money that I'm borrowing from the flash loan? Like, am I going to be on a hook if I borrowed a million dollars and accidentally fumbled it on the blockchain? Well, it can't happen, okay? So going back to what I was saying before, 
before, whenever you're doing arbitrage between two exchanges, you have to have a smart contract in place. And like mathematically, logically speaking, like you can't actually accidentally lose that money whenever you're borrowing it because... You know, you just can't make a program run that's mathematically not going to run. And so if your transaction like tries to borrow a million dollars and, you know, either steal it or accidentally lose it, the transaction is just not going to go through. The blockchain is not going to allow it to happen. And therefore you can't intentionally or accidentally lose the money that you're borrowing. All right. So those are some unique points about how this strategy works. But let's actually peel back the curtain and look at like the architecture of what a bot like this would look like. OK, so everything that I talked about, about like you know, plugging into decentralized exchanges and then, you know, doing that, that all involves a smart contract. So you see that right here. So basically, you know, let's say you've spot an opportunity to buy on Uniswap and sell on PancakeSwap. So again, Uniswap is a DEX. The website that I'm looking at right here, you know, points to a smart contract. And if you went to PancakeSwap.com, it'd, it'd show you the exact same thing. There's a smart contract for PancakeSwap in the back end. So what you're going to do is create a smart contract in the middle that talks to both of these exchanges and it just takes token one and exchanges it for token two. Now you're also going to plug in the flash loan provider in this case. So there's lots of different places that you can take flash loans out from. You know, my quick take balancer is my favorite. So basically you just plug in a flash loan smart contract here. And this contract is sort of the master trading contract that orchestrates the procedure of borrowing the money, buying cryptocurrency on one exchange and selling it on the second exchange and keeping the profit for your wallet. Now, your smart contract is not an autonomous agent in the sense of like it has to be told what to do. All right. So like anytime you make a trade, you have to tell the smart contract. It doesn't just run on the blockchain by itself and look for opportunities. That's where your bot comes into play. So that's where the real like app or program that people can see and think of like the actual trading bot. That's off chain. OK, this is a program that's written in something like JavaScript or Python or whatever you want to write it in. And what it does is it looks for each exchange and watches for all the trades that go through and watch whenever the price falls at a sink. And when the price falls at a sink, it determines like, is there some profit margin in here where I can buy on this exchange with this token pair and then sell on the other exchange to make a profit? And if it does, then boom, it just calls the smart contract. It does the trade, takes out the loans, pays everything back and sends you the profit to your wallet. And now I've kind of talked about all this, you know, really with a couple different cryptocurrency exchanges and cryptocurrency pairs, right? Like I talked about Ethereum or Ether. You could you plug in a zillion different cryptocurrencies for this. I talked about PancakeSwap. I talked about Uniswap. And I didn't even talk about a specific blockchain, okay? But let me talk about why there's nearly an infinite number of combinations for opportunities. Because you can do this one of two ways. You can try to be the absolute best to compete with other people who are really fast in this space, or you could try to go look for opportunities and do things that other people aren't doing. And that, that's what I typically think is a better way to get started. Let me show you why. There's like thousands, tens of thousands, maybe even millions of tokens if you start looking across all the different possible blockchains out there. But even if you stick to one chain, you're comfortably talking about thousands of different tokens, okay? And even if you just stick on one chain, you know, mixing and matching thousands of different tokens means a ton of different opportunities, okay? But then you start, you know, changing the different cryptocurrency exchanges. If you go look at something like, you know, Uniswap, if I go to the Forks tab here on DeFi Llama, you can see our protocol like Uniswap's been forked 700 times. That's just Uniswap version two, not to mention Uniswap version three. Now, some of these are going to be absolutely dead, but let's just say there's a few dozen viable different cryptocurrency exchanges that you could arbitrage between. Okay. So you're talking about thousands of tokens, dozens of cryptocurrency exchanges. And then finally, you got the final variable, which are the different blockchains. Okay. Ethereum obviously is the largest by significant margin, but you can apply this exact same strategy on Arbitrum, Optimism, you know, any of the Ethereum layer twos like Base. So, and what I'm saying here, it doesn't take a genius like in discrete math to see all all the different combinations of tokens, of exchanges, of blockchains. When you start mixing and matching these, there's so many different possibilities out there to make a profit in arbitrage. And if you want to see exactly how to launch a bot just like this from scratch, then make sure you hold your spot for the Trading Bot Masterclass next Thursday, October 16th. Inside, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about how to launch your own cryptocurrency arbitrage trading bot with flash loans right on the blockchain. All right, so that's an overview of how to create a profitable crypto trading bot, even if you have $0 to trade. So if you got value from this, make sure you smash the like button down below subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time or better yet I'll see you inside the class